up everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sims 2 Appleton. Today we are with the Regal family here. And we've gone, we've seen our normal family, we've seen our dysfunctional family, and we've seen our... No, no, we haven't seen a third family yet. But here we are with our somewhat normal, semi-something, becoming more normal, whatever it is, family. And we can see here we are, it is 6 a.m. on a Friday morning, and here we are with Pepper Regal. She's right here. She, as you can see, she is about ready to lose it. And she is the popularity aspiration. Her relationships is that she's good friends with her daughter, but not so much with her son, and she is attracted a little bit to Andrew Cattle. He's about to get married, so th that's that's not happening. But um, I mean, she knows she knows Marie Greenwood and Mallory Cutman and some of these other people. And she's attracted to Michael Cutman and Henry and Garrett Harbor. And why is she attracted to all these people that are completely unavailable? But she is extremely attracted to Weston McGrundle, who is experiencing some marital problems. So maybe there might be something in there for her. Her wants are to fall in love. We have that locked in. I hope that will happen. She wants to have a baby that probably won't be happening anytime soon. And she wants to get married. Again, won't be happening anytime soon. And she wants to be friends with Andrew. So, let's see what we're going on. Her, she is a hostess. She has few skills. She is working today at about 10 a.m. And she needs a couple of creativity skills to get promoted no talent badges she is kind of middle of the road neat outgoing active kind of very moderately playful and somewhat nice her memories include oh dear goodness okay well what are we doing now okay um oh boy there's a skunk in there okay well um you know having her kids moving in getting a job passing out Teaching Aaron to study, teaching Sarah to walk, Aaron gets an A+, plus. teaching to talk, getting promoted, getting sprayed by a skunk, Sarah got a D, that, that's, that's not great, but then she taught her to study immediately after, and Aaron grew up well, and they kind of had a lousy birthday party for Aaron. Or at least she thinks it was a lousy birthday party for Aaron. For Aaron, it was a pretty good party. We are going to see that next. But anyway, we are going to be checking out her biography. And Pepper tries her best to seem put together. But in reality, she's just about at her breaking point. She just wants to find that special someone to weather the storm with. And so hopefully that will happen. That's her. Now we're going to go to Aaron, who is apparently doing the planking challenge in the middle of his closet. Okay, 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 okay. We have you. Let's see what he wants to go to college. That might happen, that might not happen, but it won't be happening right away. He wants to go to private school and gain a couple of skill points. His relationships is he's not quite friends with his mom and he's kind of distant with his sister. He is a really good relationship with Samantha Greenwood and he's Good, and he's friends with Jessica McGrundle and Eric Cupman. And the rest are just acquaintances, just people he knows. He's a public school student. He has an A-plus report card, so that's good. He's a couple creativity skill points and probably doesn't have any talent. No, no talent badges. Um, he is neat, outgoing, really lazy, however. He's playful, but a bit grouchy. And his memories, pretty much are pretty much the same. He moved in, learned to study, Sarah got a D, had a lousy birthday party. However, he did manage to fall in love with Samantha right after he grew up, so it was kind of meant to be. He had his first date, went steady, had very first kiss, and then as we saw in part one, they made out in the hot tub. So, yeah. Um, He's into games, but he also enjoys cuisine. He just isn't really enthusiastic about that hobby. Aaron is always looking for ways to better himself, whether it's getting a head start on a job or taking things to the next level with Samantha. Well, he kind of already did that, so 
it be for him. He is currently, he is the fortune aspiration, and he's currently pretty much on cloud nine right now. And last but not least, we have little Sarah, who is right here. Right here, she wants to get an A-plus report card. She is working really hard on that. She is good friends with her mother, somewhat close with her brother, and she's really good friends with Eric Cupman, which there's an age difference, so that's, that's kind of interesting. But she knows Victoria Wendell and Haley Greenwood. Maybe they'll become friends, and she knows a nanny. She's a public school student with a C-plus report card, so she really wants to up that. A little bit of skills. She is middle of the road, neat, kind of shy, kind of serious, active, and nice. And her memories are pretty much, you know, she got a D. The teacher looked pretty mad. Grew up well. Made two best friends. You know, stuff like that. She is really into tinkering, kind of like Caitlin McGrundle. Maybe they can be friends at some point. Sarah works hard, but she still can't meet her mother's expectations. So, she's... So she's, you know, she's trying, and that's that's really what's important. Let's take a look at the house we have. This, this, this was a fun one to build. We have the first floor. We have a little mini room right here that we haven't used yet. Maybe it would be useful. I don't know. But um, here's a little game room. We got guards. We got don't like the llama. We got a living room over here with a little fireplace and a couple of multi-story windows here. And we have the kitchen, the dining room, some storage back here, and here is a bathroom. And there is a treadmill in the garage, and out here we have a swing set and a mini deck. And up here we have the two-story... Whoa, there's like a hole in the wall there. Um, we have the master bedroom, we have a bedroom in here that isn't being used, and we have Sarah's room and Aaron's room. Okay, so now that that's done, let's get started and see what is going on. What is Sarah doing right now? She's going to ask to be read to. And she can't get in the room. That That is great. See, I have doors locked so they go in the right beds. But she is just basically losing her mind. Can play some video games. Erin, what are you up to? You are playing some pinball. Getting that in before school. Okay, yeah, you've, you've seen enough of that. Oh, what is this? Did you did you do your homework? What homework is that? That's like your your homework as a kid, man. You gotta do that. You probably missed some valuable stuff. That should not take him that long. What are you up to? Too early to call somebody. I gotta change that. So why don't we have you come here. School bus is going to arrive in about an hour. To techno. So why don't you get out of there. See, see, he's almost... It's halfway. No, it's not halfway done. She's making some breakfast. Because you know, why not? And she hasn't done her homework either, it looks like. This is kinda it's kinda too late for that. Seriously, you had that in there for like three minutes. How did that I've never not had that happen, you know? She's checking out The Sims 3. Okay, so we got... Everybody's happy doing their own thing, and I guess that's a good thing. So we got you over here with the, um... Muffin. Apparently you have two little ovens. Did not see that, but, um... Oh, time for school! Apparently, he finished his homework, and it starts raining just in time for them to go to school. 
Who's the bills? Yeah, they've been paid. Okay. So they're going to go off to school. Why don't we clean this up? Is there any, any leftovers in here? Yes, there are. Okay. Let's see. What should we eat? What is that? That one looks almost done. So why don't we have her eat that? Oh, it's a lunch meat sandwich. So that's not going to fill her up that much. Right next to this burnt bread here. she will need to be in work about an hour so we are going to skip ahead until somebody's home okay Aaron's home and his fun is really really low so before we have him do a homework we're gonna have him have some fun but he's gonna go ahead and hey what's up maid still here how long does it take to clean a house? Jeez. Why are you going in there, buddy? Okay, no, no, we're, we're not doing this. Okay, you can, you can go play with that thing. Play with your sister's toys. That's that's really brilliant. But you know what we could do? We could take this and just you know, I don't wanna stick it on one of the butterflies. Well, that'll just there we go. Just go with that right there. So he is playing with one of these remote control cars. Lucy's done cleaning. interesting if the maid was a guy because then we could have done maybe romance with the maid. I know that's been done before, but okay, this is going to make his fun go up way too slow. So we're going to have him play pinball. These introduction parts are really kind of boring, but here goes the maid. See, this fun's going up way faster. How are you doing? You are somewhat okay. She'll be coming home in about 15 minutes. When are you coming home? 4 p.m. Okay, see. So Okay, 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 do your homework. Tara is about to arrive home from school. With. Once again, she has very mediocre grades, so she is going to come back home. And she actually wants to get her homework done, so we're going to have her do some of that. Oh, the nanny's here. And she's not happy with us for some reason. I think we really need the nanny to be here. I mean, Aaron's home, so. Now that they're just both working on their homework. Okay, so let's see, how are you? Did you return home from work? Did 
She wants to invite somebody over, play a video game, and play a computer game. Well, we gotta get that aspiration meter up, so we are going to. How are you doing? Hmm. You know what we can do? Let's have him take a bath. It's a Friday night. She's apparently join that. See, sometimes it's just fun to sit and just watch The Sims play these games. I mean, there's SS SSX three. I never played that game. I played SSX Blur for the Wii. That was a lot of fun, but I could never get be able to do the half pipe right. I could never land the half pipe. I could never do that. Oh, and she's got those ridiculous wants again. Like, ever, yeah, it's inspiration meter's a little bit higher, but we don't really have anyone to invite over. But, however, it's a Friday night, and Aaron really wants to go on a date with his girlfriend. So he is freshening up in the bathtub, And we're going to see if he can ask his mom if he can go out. What are you up to? <laughs> Having some fun. Okay, we're going to stop that because you got more homework to do. Well, actually, it's a Friday, so you don't really have to. You know what? You, why don't you recycle this? She, she looks like she's enjoying herself. Here comes Aaron. Wow, you're doing a little circle there? That's crazy. She's like, okay. Yes, you can go out. So he's gonna call up Samantha. And ask her to hang out with him. Gee, I thought you'd never ask. I'll be right over. and they're just watching a movie about a mime, apparently. And a cat. That's great. Okay, we are going to serve some dinner. How about some mac and cheese today? What is your problem? And she really, she really just doing her best, you know, try to hold everything together, but she's like, she doesn't know how much longer that's going to last. She's happy that her son is happy, but she's really worried about Sarah and her grades and, you know, can can this kid pull her grades up? And so, you know? that That's a lot of stirring to make mac and cheese. Okay, let's hope she doesn't burn everything to the ground. Made brownies today. That was great. They tasted pretty good too. Okay, mac and cheese is done. What are you up to? Are you hungry? No, you're not. Are you hungry? You're somewhat hungry. You, you, I think you should get up and grab some mac and cheese. You know, what's with the rope? That's what I don't understand. Like, why? Why do they put that in lake? Where are you going? Oh, you're going to the bathroom before you go out. Okay, okay. I see. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Okay. So here they are having a basic conversation. She's probably asking Sarah how school going, and Sarah's like. Well, it's going okay. I mean, I, um, you know, I'm meeting new people. That That's fun. But 
I kind of really just don't understand this stuff. We're talking about angles, and it's just like, it's just like, I just don't get it. Apparently she doesn't want to talk about school. Oh, Samantha's here. He goes through the garage. Bye, we'll see you later. I think Sarah can't wait until she's older and she gets to go out at night. Oh, wow, wow, you, you better say excuse me. And now she's sitting here talking about road signs. That's great. Oh, somebody's calling. Let me answer that. Maybe, maybe it's somebody she knows. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, we're... Who is it? You've been selected to try her cooking magazine. Yeah, no thanks. And I thought it was actually going to be a friend. That was really some guy trying to sell cooking magazines. We're going to put away the leftovers. You're still eating. What I'm have you do is you're going to use the bathroom and you're going to go back to sleep. And then you're going to clean up. Yes, I know this is a little bit boring, but the introductory parts always are, so. It's time for her to go to bed. And you need to go to bed as well, so. We're both going to head upstairs. But she kind of forgot that Aaron's still out, so she's not going to be able to, you know, to fully go to sleep until he comes home. No, you're not you're not sleeping in his bed. What the th what the heck do you think you're doing? You know, she just she just really wants to relax and let all the worries of her life, you know. Just just wash away, but she's just really worried. She wants her children to have a father. She wants to have a partner in life and she wants, you know, be able to provide for her family and she's just worried that she's not going to be able to be enough for them and we already saw the results with poor little Sarah and her bad grades and Aaron seems to be doing okay but who knows what he's doing he could be getting into some kind of trouble out at night or something like that like who the heck knows she really really wants to fall in love but she just has not met that person yet or maybe she has but um you know, I think maybe she's thinking about, maybe she's thinking about Weston right now and kind of wondering what is going on with him. And, oh, she's daydreaming about somebody. Look at that face. Oh, my goodness. And now that she is relaxed and, well, pretty much... Tired out, she's going to go to bed. And Aaron should be heading home any minute now. Let's see, is he here? Yep, he's getting dropped off as we speak. I think he had a pretty good time. Okay, you're just going to stand there, really? So he really doesn't want to leave his girlfriend. But he's going to head back into the house and go to bed. And let's see, how much time do we have left? You know what? I'm going to wrap up this part here. So I'm sorry it was a little bit boring, but this is just the introductory part. Where we are exploring our options. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this part, please leave a like. And don't forget to hit that notification bell and follow me on Twitter at Visit Jump Videos. Anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. So, bye!